All right, guys, welcome back to our workshop Wednesday. Today we are going to be going over the different types of paper that I've been using. Now, I've used a lot of different types of paper, and the one I like best is actually not even paper. It's called cardstock. You can make crafts out of it. Um, usually some cards are made out of it. But if you remember last week's tutorial where we went over the pens I use, and some of the shading I use. This is actually done on cardstock and you can tell because it's really thick, durable, and on the back also there's barely any bleeding. Which is why I like the cardstock, just because it's got the same texture as regular printer paper, but it's a lot more durable and like I said, it bleeding through it doesn't happen. So we go back into the, some of my past drawings. We'll just reference this one. I'll go ahead and pull it out here. Well, actually, no, let's find one where I've done some inking. Ink, did ink, did ink. Um, there we go. This one I did ink. So you guys are getting a little preview of my sketchbook here. So there. Now that we have this, we'll throw this aside. There. So this is a drawing that I did a long time ago, and unfortunately I did not get a recording of it. But either way, you can turn it over, you can see just how much inking shows through to the other side. You can almost see it near perfectly, just like on this side. The thing is with this, this is all done with Sharpie. I had no Pigma Micron pens. It was done with Ultrafine and Fine Point Sharpie. You can also see that there's lots of dots on it where the ink has bled through. So let's grab another drawing here. We'll do one there. Let's do this one. This is the one from a Manga Monday that you guys have seen. It's this drawing right here. This was done with all Pigma Micron pens and a little bit of Sharpie. You can see where the Sharpie was. This is why I don't like, this is regular printer paper that I used right here. And I don't like this because it just feels like it's gonna break if you, or cr let's say crinkle, because paper crinkles. It's just, it's, I don't really like the feel of it. You can see, like I said, it bleeds through a little bit. So now we'll go on to a different type of paper. You guys have seen my Naruto Six Tails drawing. That was done on sketchbook paper, which is in this sketchbook right here. It's this paper. I don't really have info on this because I threw away the little sheet that it came with, but I honestly cannot stand this type of paper. I just needed a sketchbook and I thought it would be good, but this paper the Pigma Micron pens don't bleed through at all, but Sharpie just goes straight through it. And I also hate it because if you have to erase like I did, the entire paper just gets destroyed. Like, not even kidding. And I just could not stand it. So that's that paper. And let's go to a, another drawing that you guys have recently seen. This one was very, very heavy when it comes to inking. This was a bleach drawing that I did. You guys might remember this one here. This was done on cardstock, and if we flip it over, obviously you can see there is a ton of Sharpie work in this. If you flip it over, you really can't see any of the Sharpie. It barely bled through, except right here. I wanted to get really, 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 really dark blacks for the eyes. Well, I guess that's technically his nose. But anyway, I wanted to get really dark blacks there and not have any pencil marks or Sharpie marks, so I went through and inked it on the back side as well. That's why you can see that. But there's like no bleeding from the Sharpie at all. And that's why I love cardstock for manga pages, just because I hate it when there's bleeding through, especially if you're gonna draw on the back side. So either way, those are the different types of paper I use. Honestly, unless you're doing like portraits, I would really recommend using cardstock for inking purposes, just because it does not bleed through nearly as bad. So yeah, this was definitely a shorter workshop Wednesday, but I just wanted to get it knocked out so that way I have a video to upload. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these videos, definitely subscribe because I will do my best to get videos up weekly. And also drop a like, comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time.